Two Gals Pro Painting is where you find us today. I am here with owner Renee and we're talking about how to get your home ready to do some painting. You're gonna cover a lot of great tips and tricks for us today, aren't you? Yes, absolutely. Okay, what are we gonna start with? Well, first we're gonna start with pressure washing the house because we always wanna make sure that we take the dirt and the debris off before we put on a paint. Um, so that's definitely the first thing that we want to start off with. it looks with. clean, like I know when you look at a house, you're like, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, if you look at this house here, it looks like it's pretty clean, yeah. but there's always going to be dirt, you know, from the rain and the wind. It's going to blow, you know, dust and dirt and everything. Mm -hmm. And if it's been a few years since you've pressure washed your house, you definitely want to. Okay. Because I don't if, think I've ever pressure washed my Yeah, house. right. And a lot of people don't, but yeah. it's definitely a good idea because, you know, there's going to be a light film of dirt on it and if we put the paint right over top of that then it's probably not going to stick mm, as well as we want it to okay. and also then you're going to have like little pieces of grit and dirt right. underneath the paint and you know really we just want to do the best perfect. job exactly yeah. right okay. so okay so what what's next after that after we pressure wash then any blemishes and perfections in the brick that we want to fix we want to do that so if there's holes maybe you had a garden hose that you took down off the wall and we want to fill those holes or maybe there's some little gaps or cracks in the brick you know the mortars fallen out over so many years we mm -hmm. want to fill that we okay. want to caulk around window frames and all of that kind of stuff so that's going to be the next prep that we're going to do before we actually apply the paint Okay, and then we're going to show you how to apply the paint. We're going to be talking about putting paint on vinyl, whether you want to or not, and what the right product is to use. But first, Seth, let's get this thing fired up. Let's start showing people how you guys would come in and you would power wash the house. There's lots more coming up on Morning Live. You don't want to miss it. All right, we're continuing some of the outside preparation on what we need to get done before we paint the house. We're with Two Gals Pro Painting and Maggie is an expert. She is chiseling away what looks like something was once stuck there, I'm assuming, Maggie? Yeah, this would have been old sealer. As you can see, there is sort of a frame here of where it hasn't been painted, so that whatever was on the exterior has been removed, mm -hmm. and we're just going to clean it up and get it ready for priming. Okay, so you chisel all of that yeah, stuff Yeah, we're going to chisel away all this extra stuff. Uh, you can use other tools. We're going to be cleaning up anything that's uh, rough there that might be too extra. Shave that down. Everything that we want to remove so that we have a nice smooth surface for the paint. Okay, and now this is next. I'm not going to do this because I don't know how. Yeah, so this what we have <laughs> here. Take over. Set that down. Uh, what we've got here is a mortar fix. Okay. And we're just going to be using that to fill in any gaps that have occurred uh, over time. It can dry and chunks can come out. So we're just going to be using that to fill in the gap. Doesn't matter what color it is because we are going to be painting over it. Mm -hmm. And I like to use my finger. They do make tools for that. But I find that I get more control just using my hand and then mm -hmm. wiping it off on a rag. Okay, what else do you need to do to make sure that the house is prepared before you start painting? Um, generally, uh, we want to prime any unpainted surfaces. Mm -hmm. So because this is exposed brick, it's not painted like up above. Oh, that's right. So if you see this part's been painted, okay. but this hasn't. So we're going to have to do a full coat of primer and that's going to help our paint bond and not cause any chipping or flaking in the future. Okay, what about these tiny little holes? Again, we can just be using the same mortar fill, anything that we want to do, and then we just wipe away the excess. Okay, so it's kind of like working with drywall. It's it's basically the same process. You're just using exterior products mm -hmm. uh, that are going to stand up to the weather and that kind of a thing. Yeah, when you go to buy these products, if you want to try doing some of this yourself, what do you need to look for? So definitely it'll say on it whether it's exterior or not. They can obviously uh, help you once you get to the store. This one's labeled as mortar fix. Mm -hmm. They also have concrete fill. Uh, so depending on what your home is made out of, uh. you'll be able to to get the right one to fill the, the product that you need. Wow, you can tell I'm just totally clueless when it comes <laughs> to painting your house, but we've got lots more coming up. We are gonna be doing some painting. That's just ahead, but for now, I'm gonna send things back inside the studio. Yay, we're painting. We've made it through the preparation stage with Two Gals Pro Painting. I'm here with Leon now. We've got Katie up on the ladder. She's doing a great job <laughs> uh, doing what she does best. Now, what's the difference between painting a house that has brick or siding or 
or what kind of paint do you use? I mean, I have so many questions. That's a loaded question. It's a <laughs> lot. Uh, right now, Katie is painting painted brick. So we can use a different product. We can use the diamond exterior satin matte um, because it doesn't need to be absorbed. It doesn't need to be primed. It doesn't need to be prepped. It's already been painted. Okay. So this is fairly easy. But on the other side where you saw the unpainted brick, we would mm -hmm. use a totally different product. It's okay. a high building product. It's called Permacrete and it seals the brick, the masonry, cement, that kind of thing. It doesn't peel. It's sort of an all-in-one product. Okay. Now, what if I was painting siding or like a limestone? Is it different? Well, the, well, no, the limestone, you would probably use the permacrete as well. Okay. But the vinyl, like we have at the front here, vinyl's a little more tricky. Okay. So you need to use certain colors. So when you have a color like Renee has that's sort of a taupe, you can't go any darker. Mm -hmm. You need to go lighter because okay. when it gets trapped under a darker color, it can warp the okay. vinyl. Oh. Yeah, so there are certain colors, <laughs> but again, you can use the um, diamond exterior. Yep. Um, you just have to choose your color safely. Okay, and you know, when you're painting the brick, is there specific conditions or temperatures that are better for painting than others? Well, absolutely. You I mean, don't want to be- paint in the rain. We're not gonna paint <laughs> in the rain. You're not gonna paint below probably plus 10, plus eight, plus 10. It needs to be that nice. That's why we're the busiest in the springtime, yeah. essentially. And on super, super hot days, it's gonna dry too fast. So that could leave brush marks, roller marks. You know, they need to be able to keep moving that paint and have right. it be wet. But if it dries instantly, yeah. it's not gonna be as effective. So, so the earlier you start, the better in the day. Earlier the or into the fall. Oh, that's yeah. smart too. But yeah. then the weather can get a little tricky, It right? can get tricky. And that's what my job is, is to work with that calendar and the schedule. And yeah, I bet. Yeah, stay on the weather network every <laughs> single day. Yeah. All right, well, you're doing a great job, Katie. Coming up, we'll talk a little bit more about the different types of paint that you would use for such a big job, but a great job with Two Gals Pro Painting. We're still painting. Seth is up on the ladder. He is painting a different material. Leo, what is he painting? Right now, he's painting her soffits, and that is an aluminum product. So again, we're still using the diamond exterior satin. Mm -hmm. Now, you can use that on older aluminum, you know, that's been on your house for 10 years or more. Anything brand new, aluminum siding, aluminum soffits, you wouldn't want to touch. You'd want to use a weather guard primer first. Okay. okay. Um, but in the event that this has been here for a little while, we can just go ahead and use our diamond exterior. What's the difference? Between the old and the new. How come you have it to just use a doesn't adhere first? as well on a really new soft I sort see. of finish, okay. right? Yeah. So we just want to take that extra step if it's new. Okay. Um, and what we're finding, the reason we're painting now for Renee's house, we're just making sure that we've color matched, giving it a fresh coat, mm -hmm. uh, because you can only get these things so clean for so long. No I amount see. of pressure washing gets all the dust and the grime from the streets off it. Um, but we're noticing uh, predominantly, and a lot of people don't know, you can paint your eaves troughs, faucets, downspouts. No, I would never think. Yeah, but I think it's pretty- I don't think I've ever seen anybody paint an eaves trough Oh, before. we have. <laughs> I bet. Yeah, and it's because you're seeing in the houses, a lot of the new window frames are black. Black is a really, really popular Super color. Trendy, yeah. But you've got a taupe or a brown or maybe the white and you don't quite like it. You don't have to reinstall all this, which is quite a cost for a large house. Yeah, I can You can imagine. just call us to come and paint it black to match. Okay, so if some people want to come and, or not come, but get you guys to come out mm -hmm. and get some work done, yep. where can they reach you? Oh, Google two gals pro painting. All our social media will come up. Um, then you can call the office and I'll come out and do a free estimate for you. Amazing. All right. That's exactly what you want to do. If you need some work done on your home, thanks for having us. Yeah. We've had a really oh, uh, informative awesome. time today. It's been fun and we've learned a lot. Uh, TwoGalsProPainting.com is where you want to check things out if you want to get these gals out to help you out.